Hey guys, uh, good to be here for this week's Oxen Labs update. Uh, on session, we have pretty much been working on the same things that we have been working on for the last couple of months. Um, so uh, disappearing messages is coming along nicely. It's uh, we actually just had a meeting this morning. It's basically uh, ready to go into QA on iOS, and also we're basically just trying to fix one uh, final thing on Android uh, with. Um, open groups uh, storing message requests as well so we're trying to get those deleted when a user clears their account um, so that is being fixed up now and then hopefully we'll have a little cross-platform test at the end of today um, with android and ios um, desktop's lagging a little bit behind um, those because we're doing a little bit of um, or some of those developers have been brought off to work on another project temporarily um, but they should be back on probably within the new year um, so hopefully um, disappearing messages will come out early, early next year. Um, but our cross-platform testing should start very soon um, on Android and iOS. Uh, on closed groups, we're getting further and further along. Um, so we'll actually break up the closed group release into two uh, releases. So there'll be a config message management release at the start. That's basically going to update the way that we're managing configuration messages. And that was part of the libsession util stuff that we've been uh, working on. Um, and then there'll be a bigger update to put in the libsession util stuff for specific for, specifically for closed groups. So that's coming along nicely as well. Most of the developers are done with the configuration message stuff and are now onto the closed group um, specific functions that are going in or, at, or adding um, additional um, uh, configuration message stuff as well. Um, so that's session. Um, we're doing really well and we're coming into the end of the year really well um, as well. Uh, so on LokiNet, we, we haven't done too much work because Jeff is um, on holiday right now and Jason went on a one-week holiday too, uh, but he's just come back. We have had we have done a little bit of work on uh, LibLokiNet, uh, so we were having a few issues, or we, we were trying to patch a few issues with LibLokiNet to make it work closer to actual LokiNet. Um, those patches are in, but we're having a few build issues right now on iOS, which is kind of our... Um, staging platform that we're testing on because it's kind of the hardest platform to work on. Um, so we want to start hardest first and then um, easier should be Android and desktop. Um, so that's coming along, uh, but not, not too much core uh, work going on there. We have also hired a new developer for um, LokiNet who will be coming on at the start of next year. So hopefully that'll uh, speed up the LibLokiNet integration process. Um, and on Oxen, Sean is working really hard on uh, wallet, the Wallet 3 CLI. Um, he now has it syncing properly. We just had one issue this week where I think it was picking up an old Coinbase transaction and didn't know what to do with it to do with the Genesis block. Um, but that seems to be uh, fixed right now. I was just reading the messages um, in our chats before. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to start doing some speed testing soon between uh, Wallet 3 and our traditional like old wallet to see if there's um, a, a speed improvement. And I've been told that there, you know, just colloquially, it looks like there will be. So um, that should be really good. And I'll keep you updated on that. This uh, is probably going to be our last one uh, for this year, but if people work throughout the holidays, I might jump on and give a little update then, but we'll have to, I'll have to see that might be from my webcam. Um, but yeah, great year, um, got a lot done, um, and really looking forward to, to next year as well. Um, getting some massive features into session, um, and things are coming along really nicely. Um, so yeah, I'll, I, I'll see you guys either next year or uh, maybe a little bit before then. All right, ciao guys. Hey guys, it's me again. This is going to be the last update for 2022. What a year. Um, so over here at Oxen, um, it's still just been, you know, wrapping up and bookending projects for the end of the year. We've already had some people leave Melbourne to go off on their, their Christmas holiday. So everything's definitely winding down. Um, but during that whole process, we're still preparing for our next little AMA event. It's going to be a live labs meeting um, where we're going to have, you know, maybe five people in it, just like different people, um, different people like the big players here from like the different departments so that you guys can ask their like questions to us. We've already started fielding questions um, from the community for you guys who, who can't make it. 
Um, but yeah, that should be kicking off next week on the 20th, I believe. Um, I know there's been some chatter in the, in the community about uh, the timing of this, this thing. Um, we've definitely just, you know, tried to set this because it's the first type of this kind of AMA that we're doing. Um, we've tried to make a time that works for us uh, internally for all the people um, going to be a part of this lab update. But in the future, um, if it all goes well, we'll definitely be doing other time zones for different different uh, communities out there. Um, so we've been preparing that. Uh, we've also, um, besides wrapping up for the for the year, we're continuing our um, goal setting for Q1 2023. Also chatting to the other departments as well to make sure that everyone's in alignment, like going forward for the next year. We're all working towards the same goal. Um, the summary of our OPTF article on um, the cybersecurity series, that's been completed as well. Um, and on speaking about the foundation, we've also been continuing our relationships with our other foundation partners. Um, so that includes, you know, uh, preparing joint speaking events uh, for next year. So that's been going really well. Um, we recorded the final session tapes podcast as well. Um, and so we'll be getting that out before the break. Um, all the clips have been going really well from the session tapes as well. Our Halloween uh, clip is one of the, the best performing short form videos that we've um, had going on. So that's something that we're looking forward to and we'll continue to keep doing. Um, also, as usual, the socials are doing really well. Uh, session in particular has been raking in over 2,000 followers per month for the last three months, and it's closing in on the, the big 50K followers overall. So that's it for, for me here. Um, I'll see you guys in the AMA, and for those who, who don't watch that, I'll check you guys in the, in the new year. Catch you later.